without further ado, let's welcome Jesse to talk about base and on-chain summer. Hi. Glad to be here. Thanks for having me. It's Friday. I'm wearing my Friday shirt and it's on-chain summer. Let's go. <laughs> Well, when I hand this off to you, well, first I want to say congratulations on all what an incredible week this has been. I've only seen incredible, amazing excitement on everywhere else on social media. And uh, I'm sure the rest of your team and you are feeling incredibly grateful for how this it's all has been uh, kind of finally come together. So a big congrats to all of you. Thank you. Yeah, we're excited about it. Um, you know, it's been a massive team effort. It's not just based... Uh, I feel like the whole world's starting to come on chain this summer. And so I feel like we're, we're just joining the party. Uh, so, you know, it's been so inspiring to see how many folks have been uh, hacking over the last week. Uh, I think we had what, like a thousand plus hackers here? Yeah, more than that? We're, we're 1150. 1150? I mean, that's crazy. Uh, that's crazy. And I think that uh, there's a few, a couple hundred of those who are building cool things on base. Um, so it's super team, super dream, super chain, on chain summer, all the energy. I'm ready. Hundreds of projects. <laughs> Hundreds of projects. Yeah, it's epic. I can't wait to see them all. Um, also, just as like a fun fact, um, we, uh, inspired by Super Hack, are doing a on chain summer hackathon next Thursday and Friday at Coinbase. And so uh, that means that you're going to have another, you know, few hundred hackers uh joining the efforts you know and we're not gonna be going through the super hack stuff but it's pretty cool that we're gonna have uh, another couple hundred folks building on chain this summer oh wow yeah yeah it's happening um so i think what i have like 20 minutes right now to to get going and we can um end it a few more minutes so i know you have last some slides if you're ready we can uh i got some slides uh you know pulled together we're doing it. Uh, it's been a hectic week, so I wrote bear with me as I uh, do this. But uh, I'm like looking at the last stream. I see people in the chat. Maybe just to start, if you're in the chat, in the Super Hack Summit chat, maybe you can just drop like, where are you calling in from? Uh, maybe like drop a flag or drop a country. I guess it's in there, but just like give me some sign that people are watching. Uh, but yeah, you know, hey everyone, I'm Jesse. We got New York City summer. Let's go on chain summer. Um, let me put up these slides. We got San Francisco. We got the Canary Islands, oh, India. Let's go. We are an international crew. Um, pretty epic. Okay, let me put these slides up. Uh, I hope folks, Arizona. We got the United States. We got Ireland. Um, hey everyone. Uh, I'm Jesse. I'm the creator of Base. Uh, I've been in the kind of Coinbase orbit for the last seven years been working to bring coinbase on chain and building base for the last two years uh and i'm here to talk to you about base on chain summer what's going on uh and get into it um and before i talk about all those things i just want to talk about this word on chain uh, i think folks have probably heard it enough at this point in the title uh, but just as a quick refresher uh the way we think about on chain is that there's kind of three eras of the world right now there was the before internet days. And that was what we call offline. Um, that was when really we were just, you know, like if you wanted to uh, learn something, you listen to the news, you watch the TV, uh, everything was unidirectional. Uh, and if you wanted to create something, there were all these gatekeepers, the publishers, the producers, uh, the folks who basically got to decide, could you have a voice? And then in the early 2000s, we all went up on the chain. And that's when I grew up. It was a pretty magical time. Because I think for the first time, all of our kind of creativity could come out and we could share it with the world. We could write. Uh, and it became bi-directional. Uh, and that's what created Twitter. It's what created Instagram. It's what created TikTok. What created this incredible wave of creativity that uh, I think like transformed the world to the better over the last 20 years. But if you reflect on kind of what, what wasn't perfect during that time, I mean, what left a lot to be desired is even as we were all kind of having this creativity, even as we were bringing this creativity to the world, um, when we were putting it online, it stopped becoming art. It stopped being art. I put my content on Facebook and now Facebook sets the rules. I put my content on TikTok and TikTok sets the rules. I made incredibly creative things and they got to decide 
how much I earned based on it. And they got to take most of the money. And instead, what I got was likes and comments, which can't be exchanged for food or any of the things that let me live a better life, uh, grow a happier family, build a better business. And so we believe that we are on the precipice right now, the next generation of the internet, which is the on-chain era. Um, and we believe that the big shift that's happening is that for the first time, not only can we read it right, but we can also own. And for the first time, when we have creativity, when we make things and we put them into the world, those things remain ours. The song remains ours and we can earn from every time someone collects it. The piece of writing remains ours and we can earn from every time someone engages with it. Um, and we can enter this next era where I think we're going to see much more economic freedom, we're going to see folks uh, having much more resources and we're going to see folks uh, having much more sovereignty and feeling much more autonomy to actually be able to live their life. And so that's on chain. Um, and I think the thing that's exciting to me about it is that it feels like it's finally here. Just in the last three to six months, it feels like we've really started to have new use cases being built on chain, on chain music with things like sound, um, on chain media with things like Zora, Manifold, a highlight, um, just incredible folks who are, who are enabling tools for creators. On-chain games. Uh, today, uh, I was on, on, the, on the live stream with the Parallel team, who's building an incredible trading card game. Um, we have on-chain communities. Uh, you know, I've been working in, in the city of Oak Ridge to build Oak, which is a community currency there. Um, on-chain advocacy. Even. Uh, Coinbase has been leading the way with uh, Stand With Crypto, which is a fully on-chain advocacy campaign where you can mint an NFT to support, get involved, uh, and activate to you know bring better crypto policy to the world. And so we at base are basically trying to figure out what can we do to make it so on-chain gets accessible to everyone and that everyone can start to build. Um, we opened up base mainnet for everyone this Wednesday. Uh, so that was a huge milestone after six months of hard work. Um, and many of the folks who are listening into this are building on base. I was talking with Kartik and he said, I think there's like a couple hundred teams that are building on base in some way during Super Hack. Um, and there's been so much energy over the last three to four days as we open up base uh, for everyone. Just to give a little bit more color on base, um, base is an Ethereum layer two. Uh, it's built on the OP stack. Uh, it's part of the super chain. Uh, that's why you're here for Super Hack. Uh, and we really think that base is going to enable the next generation of on chain products. Uh, and that people are going to have an easier time building it. People are going to have an easier time using those apps through interfaces like Coinbase and Coinbase Wallet and all the other incredible wallets we're working with, like Rainbow and Ravi and Frame and MetaMask and Trust Wallet. Uh, and that this combination of easier application building and easier application using is going to enable the next wave of crypto adoption that brings billions of builders and billions of users on chain. One of the things that's really important to us is decentralization. And so we've been talking about kind of three commitments to decentralization that we've made for base. Um, the first is technical investment in decentralization. We've joined as the second core developer of the OP stack alongside OP Labs. Uh, we've already made a bunch of kind of key contributions on scalability. Uh, we're working right now on something called AppRef, which is the second client for the OP stack. Um, and uh, also working on Security Council, a few other technical initiatives to help base decentralized faster and every open stack chain decentralized faster. Um, we also are participating in an open neutrality framework called the Law of Chains. Uh, this is something that we helped go create with Optimism over the last nine months. Uh, and it's the thing that allows us to keep base open and decentralized and permissionless. Um, it what allows us to ensure that base looks and feels and acts like Ethereum. Um, and then finally, uh, our third commitment to decentralization is that we are funding public goods. Uh, we're taking a portion of all of the transaction revenue that's generated on base, and we are routing it to the Optimism Collective to fund public goods. Uh, this is, uh, uh, you know, really our commitment to ensuring that the underlying infrastructure that enables base and is going to enable the next billion users to come on chain as a sustainable funding source um, that can grow over time. And so that's what base is doing. But I think the thing to kind of ground us all in is that we're still very early. Um, there are less than 10 million people on chain. There are 8 billion people in the world. And so we have to get from 10 million to 8 billion people in the world. I'm seeing someone ask just in the chat, can you index base with the graph right now? The answer is yes. Uh, the graph fully supports base. 
um, as does pretty much every other infrastructure provider. Uh, and so if you need a tool, um, I would just say ask. Uh, you can pop in the base Discord. You can drop in the chat right now. Uh, I'll tell you yes or no. Um, but we've worked really hard over the last six months to ensure that everything or as much as possible is supported out of the box. Um, and that's because we believe that it's not just going to be based. It's not just going to be coin based. It's going to be all of us that get us from that 10 million people on chain to the 8 billion people on chain over the next decade. And so the way we're really trying to kick that off is with on-chain summer. Uh, you've maybe seen this on the internet over the last week. Uh, this is uh, really bigger than base. You know, we think about base as joining the party, but that the party started at the beginning of the summer when the world started coming on chain. Um, and our contribution is basically bringing a bunch more people uh, to build a bunch more cool stuff and share it with the world. And then hopefully bring a bunch of users into the ecosystem so that they can experience what's happening uh, on chain and get excited and get a crypto wallet and get involved. Um, today, just as a like shout out, uh, we did a really cool mint from Parallel. Uh, they are building a trading card game you can get a starter pack for parallel at onchain summer.xyz slash parallel or just in summer.xyz. Uh, this gets you uh, early access to the beta. Um, it gets you all the cards you need to get started. Uh, the game is really, really cool. Um, really excited about it. Uh, folks have been loving playing it. And it's all fully on chain. Um, we also have a bunch more coming up. So tomorrow we're doing on chain music with another block. We had to get one two brand in there and so coke is doing a really cool piece of uh on-chain art with a bunch of uh artists including kind of the van gogh house and a bunch of emerging folks on sunday on monday we have a day of action for stand with crypto where we're going to be telling the world why we need clearer policy on tuesday we have blackbird who's doing on-chain restaurants with loyalty they're doing the summer pass uh and then every day all the way through august um, we have something else cool happening on chain. Uh, and so if you want to get involved in on-chain summer, you can go to on summer XYZ. Uh, every day there'll be something new to do. We also have a trending tab and a community tab. And so if you build something on base this summer, uh, let me know. You can tweet at me, you can DM me, and I'll make sure that we get it featured in the community section. Uh, and then if it goes viral, if people are minting, if people are engaging, it'll show up automatically in the trending section. And we're seeing a ton of eyeballs right now on Chain Summer. I think yesterday we saw that there was like 100,000 plus people who visited. And so this is a great way to show off some of the cool stuff that all of y'all are building um, every day and building in, in Super Hack. And I think my message to all of y'all is this chart down here, that's the growth of L2s over the last year. You can see that it kind of started at zero. Ethereum is the blue line. Uh, and then it's kind of gradually grown up into the right. And we're at this inflection point where it's growing, but there's still more room for it to grow faster. And so our belief is that this is it, that we're here, that the time is now, that the tools are finally ready, that it's on-chain summer, and that it's going to take all of us to ignite what will be probably one of the most incredible growth journeys uh, we've seen ever in the history of humanity as the whole world moves on. And so that's my message. Uh, if I had one other thing to say, it would be let's go build some cool stuff. Uh, we have a thousand plus hackers here for each global. Um, uh, we know that there's already a bunch of projects being built on base and other chains that are going to be really impactful, that are going to help tell the story of on chain. Um, and so if there's anything I can be doing, we can be doing to better support y'all. Uh, if there's anything you need to make your on-chain summer dreams come true, please let us know. Um, one last plug on that is we have uh, 100 ETH of additional grants alongside the prizes we're doing for SuperHack that are open right now. Uh, you can learn more about those at prop.house.based, or you can just Google on-chain summer grants, uh, and those will come up. Um, those are for all sorts of things, uh, you know, creative projects, uh, building on base, account abstraction infrastructure. Uh, and so if you're building something cool this summer, uh, please submit it for a grant. Uh, we'd love to support you and the next generation of builders on base. And so with that,
those are all the prepared remarks I have. Drop questions in the in the chat, uh, and I'm happy to answer them. Uh, we can take a few more minutes, and then we can call it a day. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, we uh, there's no way for people to ask questions to you directly over voice, but if they type anything in the chat, we get to see all of them. We can relay that. Uh, we do have a technical question coming in, which is uh, is base already indexed by the the graph right now? The mean. Yeah, I answered it. I answered it live because um, I got the chat live stream. Um, it's fully supported by the graph and pretty much every other infrastructure provider. And so if you need something, um, you can DM me about it. I'll make sure you get it. Sweet. Um, the, the other hack ideas, yeah. Oh, you else just asked what hack ideas am I most excited about? Uh, I'm most excited about people building cool consumer products. Uh, it feels like the technology is finally there. Like we have account abstraction, we have low cost L2s, we have um, like good wallet interfaces. Um, I don't know if folks have seen friend tech, but that's been kind of like popping over the last 24 hours, uh, on base. Uh, and I think it's a great example where it's like, you literally just put your phone number, you can transfer an ETH, uh, you can build, uh, whatever you want, or you can, you know, like do whatever you want there and you don't have to engage with crypto. You don't have to get a new wallet. Um, so I think that that's awesome. I want to see more experiments like that. I'd love to see people build consumer products on base. Um, I also am really excited about anything that's on-chain summer themed. Uh, telling the story of the world coming on chain this summer and every summer until everyone's here, I think is really important. And so we'd love to see projects related to that. I see someone just asked Linux or Windows. If I had to pick between those two, I think Linux. Um, you know, I'm a, I'm a hacker. Uh, I grew up on the command line. Uh, and, I, you know, I, I used Bass for a while and actually a fish user. Uh, it's so... A little bit out there, um, but saying uh, Linux, but I'm sensing Mac. You're <laughs> uh, Mac, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, like, I, uh, what am I gonna do? Uh, I'm a Mac user. I grew up like taking apart iPhones and watching Steve Jobs keynotes, and um, yeah, grateful for all of the incredible products that Apple's built. Uh, Bryce just dropped in the prop house round. Um, yeah, you can just go to prop slash base. Uh, everything's retroactive, and so build something cool, put it in there, uh, and then folks are going to be kind of selecting what gets awarded the grants. Amazing. Uh, maybe one one question to please, <laughs> but but uh, what uh, what's been kind of a big learning from uh, from the last forty eight hours? What's well, been a big learning from the last forty eight hours? Um, I'd say the biggest learning is just like, man, there's so much energy out there. It just needs to be activated. Like we weren't really sure how people were going to respond when we started telling telling everyone this and that. Like this is the summer the world comes on chain. And I think you know, like realistically the world's not going to come on chain. Like we got a lot more work to do. Very pretty year. We're 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 every summer is going to be on chain summer. But I feel like there's something about the like just the vision that we're painting that is getting people fired up and is like juicing creativity and getting people to do things that maybe they didn't feel were possible before. And I don't know, that's been really refreshing. It's been energizing. Uh, like I feel solidly out of the bear market right now. Like we are solidly in the like, builder summer, on-chain summer, uh, grow it all, bring the world on chain. Um, yeah. Oh, and I bet a little bit of uh, a relief too. Now, uh, now that it's, <laughs> we're there, this is a little bit less pressure. And yeah, you know, you get to see things through. So, like, yeah, I'm really grateful that this is out in the world now and that we're past the launch. Man, it's like it's stressful launching something because it, it feels like you only really get to do it once. And so, it's been pretty, it's been a stressful three months of getting here. And I think it's not, it's, it's kind of nonstop through the end of August. Like every day, I'm doing a live stream from now until the end of August. Saturdays and Sundays included. Just telling the story of on chain summer. Every day we're doing a new mid Saturdays and Sundays included. So the next twenty days are gonna be intense, but I feel like the pressure valve being released of like, oh, this thing is out in the world now. People are using it. People are starting to like build on it organically. Um, that's been uh, really, really great. Um, I also see one more question in here. What's our internal goal KPI for on chain summer twenty twenty three? Um Honestly, we've already we've already exceeded all of our internal KPIs, bro. <laughs> <laughs> um, 
like kind of crazily enough, like if you look at the activity on date, like the goals that we originally set, like, we didn't know what to expect. We're like launching a new L2, like, you know, trying to compare it to other folks who've recently launched new L2s. And um, I think we've already been like kind of blown away by the response. Um, you know, just like today, I think yesterday we crossed 100,000 unique transacting addresses on base. Today, I think we're going to track towards like 125,000 or 150,000. Um, and so 15,000. Yeah, uh, so yeah like it's, it's crazy. Like that, that's way bigger than we were anticipating. Um, and so I think we're kind of like doing a little bit of an internal reset right now. Like, okay. Like, what do we, what do we go on for the rest of the month? Um, and my attitude is that it's day one, like 150,000 is big relatively, right? Like I think base has the most transacting addresses of any L2 today and yesterday, uh, maybe not yesterday, but will today, but in the grand scheme of things, it's tiny, right? Like we're talking about millions, billions of people that we need to bring on chain. And so I'm just now recalibrating, like, let's go get to a million daily transacting addresses. Um, I think the the biggest like internal goal that I have is um, I just want to make our products like all the products work better on base. Like that's been a forcing function for like or on chain summer is a forcing function for that. Like there's a part of it that was just like getting energy, getting momentum, getting movement, but the other part of it was like making it so every day the Coinbase team, the Coinbase wallet team, other wallet teams who are promoting on-chain summer, doing activities with on-chain summer, like they have to go through the experience of trying to use an on-chain product and seeing what works, what doesn't work. And just in three days, like every day we've done a retro, an hour long retro with the Coinbase team, the Coinbase wallet team and the base team uh, for the last three days. And every day we're like, here's a bunch of shit that's really broken that we need to fix. And so I think that's probably like the single biggest like North star for me this summer. It's like, can we make a 50% improvement, a hundred percent improvement in quality of life and quality of experience of people who are trying to transact every day on the Um, yeah. Yeah. And, and, uh, it's set up to be in that right world too, because you now have this really tight feedback loop where you get to actually see and try things and just see the next iteration 24 hours and see if it works. Hundred percent, hundred percent. I was seeing someone asking about parallel uh, about Prime on base. Prime, I think, is on base already. Um, it can be bridged via layer zero. I'm like eighty, ninety percent sure of that. If you want to tweet at me, I can tag the parallel team, and they can give you any information that you need. That's a, a response to Geo. Um, Nico, awesome to hear that the DAO's migrated to base this week. We want more of that. Uh, we're here to to make that happen. Um, and let us know if we can help. And then David, Deb, Jadid, you have a question on L2s, um, on navigating the regulatory space. You know, in general, our feeling is like there's a lot of need for regulatory clarity um, in the U.S. and in countries around the world. And that's why we've been advocating for that. With Coinbase, with Stand with Crypto, and with all the other stuff that we're doing. Um, I think, in general, our belief is that Layer 2s are an extension of Ethereum. Uh, and that, um, like Ethereum, we should be standing for and fighting for uh, layer twos to remain open, permissionless, and decentralized. And so that's one of the big reasons why we are a part of the super chain, uh, why we're part of super app, why we're building on the OP stack, why we spent the last nine months working on this open neutrality framework called the law of chains, um, because we believe that it requires decentralization, it requires open source, it requires real commitment to ensure that. And so that's, that's what I'm focused on. When I'm not focused on on chain somewhere, I'm focused on ensuring that layer two remains open, permissionless, and decentralized because that's what's going to be required to have a global on chain economy uh, and a global on chain platform that all of us can build on and that all of us can stand on with a level playing field. So I think I'm at time. Kartik, thanks for the questions. Everyone who is here, thanks for being here. Thanks for hacking. Thanks for being a part of Super Hack. Thanks for building this summer. And if you launch stuff for on chain summer, tweet at me. We'll get it featured on the website. Um, if you're looking for cool things to do on chain, go to onchainsummer.xyz every day. There's one cool thing to do on chain. Get on chain this summer. Let's go build some cool stuff. Awesome. Thank you so much, Jesse. And uh, we'll see you on chain. Awesome. Thanks, Cardick. See you later. See you. Bye.